Hello and welcome to the Cowbridge Comprehensive School Sixth Form Information Sharing Presentation with Mr. Jonathan Ling, Assistant Head Teacher, and Miss Alison Davis, Head of Sixth Form. We are delighted that you're considering Cowbridge Sixth Form as a potential place of study as part of your next stage of learning, as we believe that we provide a stimulating, vibrant, and friendly setting in which students can continue their academic education. It's at this time every year that we launch with great excitement our sixth form open evening and invite existing and prospective students to join us in an evening of learning, exploration and entertainment. Unfortunately, 2021 will not allow us to do this, which is a real regret for us. Instead, we invite you to take a virtual tour around the school through a combination of audiovisual presentations, interactive brochures, videos and frequently asked questions advice. We also offer up the opportunity to ask us questions you may have and provide us with your preliminary choices via the online forms available. ALPS, or the A-Level Performance System, is a nationwide accreditation of over 2,500 institutions for all six forms and places schools in a band according to their performance as the students in relation to other students across the country. We are currently ranked in the top 5% of all schools with a very high category rating, as can be seen from this image. This represents a whole school approach to managing the teaching and learning of students, with more information to come on this later. This slide highlights some of the school's key performance indicators. In 2019, Estin, in our last inspection, commented that the proportion achieving three A-star or A grades and three grades at A-star to C is consistently above that in similar schools. And the chief moderator or quality assurance moderator from Alps has also commented that Cowbridge comprehensive school results for the previous three years are outstanding at A-level and AS. It's important to note that this measures the school value added by the teaching and learning across the school. We're also very proud of the fact that approximately 40% of our students currently attend Russell Group Universities, compared to 18% nationally. In Cowbridge, we like to try and keep things as simple as possible, given that Leonardo da Vinci once said that simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. In this particular slide, you'll see that the school has three school improvement priorities, which are shown. Achieving exceptional standards, outstanding care support and guidance, and inspirational teaching and learning. All three of these areas are key to a successful school environment. This particularly is important for us in a sixth form, which prioritises student wellbeing as highly as academic success, as one cannot take place without the other. It goes without saying that our school improvement plan, which is available on the school website for 2021 to 2023, takes the current pandemic into account and highlights not only blended learning as a priority, but also that student well-being and minimising the impact of any regression that may have been caused by the enforced changes do not take place. In the previous slide, I highlighted how our academic performance is very good. In this particular slide, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about well-being and how the well-being of our staff and students is of the highest importance. And we could argue that this is more relevant and pertinent given the current pandemic. Our extensive wellbeing and achievement team network, dedicated school counsellor and careers officer, all work alongside an allocated academic mentor for every student to help ensure that they make the best progress in years 12 and 13. We recognise as a school that there's an important balancing of challenge, support, relaxation and rest. And we promote the principle of keeping a healthy balance between boredom and anxiety. And we recognise that good stress helps to increase a student's performance level so as to maintain optimum achievement. The job of the sixth form team is to care, support and guide those who suffer from distress in any form and ensure that they're able to, to receive the help they need. We aim to avoid the boredom that comes from a lack of challenge whilst mitigating against any anxiety caused by over challenge. Our objective, I suppose, is to meet every student's flow channel, as is seen in this diagram. 
Ms Davis, a little later, will outline how the Achievement Team are able to manage this enormously important process. Pastoral care, in order to aid wellbeing, is vitally important to us. And this slide highlights our wide and extensive support network, which consists of some of the things that are outlined here. A dedicated open door policy of three or four people working together. Regular contact between the school and home relating to academic progress, well-being and achievement. A dedicated achievement team to look after the needs of your children in the sense that they progress well in their AS and their A levels and that they are able to sort of aid transition from GCSE to A level to university and beyond. We also act as a link for the school counsellor who is able to offer individual guidance and support, a careers officer who is able to give the specific guidance that is needed in order to access the world of work, and also an academic mentor who works with and supports the subject teachers in helping, supporting and assisting the students in accessing their best. Clearly also attendance is an important element for us to ensure that students are in class and where they are not able to attend, we are able to help support them in their efforts. And finally, powerful student voice and leadership, which comes from our student council, of which I'll talk more in a moment. The range of student leadership projects in Cowbridge is vast and something of which we are very proud. Led by Mrs. Taylor John and her team, okay, which starts with a, a, an extensive sixth form leadership team and working in relationship with the Key Stage 4 and the Key Stage 3 students. You'll see in a moment when I show you a calendar from next year, how many different activities take place on a regular basis. This slide highlights just some of the things that take place over a normal year. You can see that there are project groups which highlight such areas, the Rotary Club, peer mentoring, the Buddy Scheme, Library, Human Rights Week. You will see that there are medics, health and wellbeing groups, which help support well-being across the students' co cohorts. You could see that there are helping in Cowbridge Comprehensive School events, which look at the summer concert, children in need, the Christmas concert, study room support. You will see that there are at least a dozen committees which look at levers, the Eco, Healthy Eating, Sports Council, the Library Committee, LGBT, and so on. And you can see also that there are a number of different awareness raising days and weeks which look at epilepsy, autism, mental health, Safer Internet Day, and so on. And you can see also that the school council, which has a very rigid and popular format, okay, has continual meetings and is a real good example of pupil voice in action. So let's have a look at how that might look in action. This slide encapsulates perfectly what I was just talking about. And this particular image is taken from the January 2020 calendar. I don't feel that I need to apologise for not including a January 2021 calendar for obvious reasons, but clearly we are committed to bouncing back at the earliest available opportunity and offer students the chance to lead their peers and younger students in community projects. Estin highlighted that in 2019, sixth form pupils play a significant role in leading many of the school council's activities. For example, the Medics Debating Group, the Proactive School Community Project and the Leavers Committee. The School Council is highly successful engaging a wide range of pupils in all activities. This plays a key role in helping pupils to develop as confident, mature citizens. In short, pupil leadership and pupil voice plays a huge role in Cowbridge, led ably by our sixth form team. Hello, my name is Miss Davis and I'm the head of sixth form. Um, within my team, I have two leaders of achievement, one for year 12 and one for year 13, and also an achievement manager, Mrs Howe, who will be your first point of contact for any inquiries to do with the sixth form. There are six form groups in year 12, and where we can, we do try to keep students with the form tutor that they have had throughout school. We like to encourage academic aspiration, that goes without saying, but one of the main jobs of the pastoral team is to care for the well-being of the students. And as Mr Ling said earlier on in the presentation, we find that well-being and achievement go hand in hand.
Whilst in the sixth form, we not only prepare our students for A-level success, but also for the next steps onto university and higher education and work. In order to do that, we give students eight to nine hours of contact teaching time per fortnight. We also have independent study rooms where students can go and learn in their own time. And our teaching strategies provide questions rather than spoon feeding information and answers. Growth mindset and resilience are encouraged and developed at this stage. We also have very good links with the SARA network, which I'll explain to you in the next slide. The sixth form pride themselves on the help that we give our students when applying to university. Um, our UCAS team has a team of personal tutors who together with the students support their preparation and application to university. We have specific guidance in the form of SERIN for Oxford and Cambridge students, and we also have help with our medical, dental and veterinary science placements. A UCAS guidance programme for students starts in the summer term of year 12, where we encourage students to start looking at courses and the sorts of grades that they need in order to get into the university of their choice. On a normal year, we have a careers fair in July where many universities come in to school and also we have um, people from the world of work to come in and talk to students. In any normal year, we would have up to an over 100 pupils on the SERIN network pathway. Okay, It's the pathway to a successful future and we're proud to be one of the SERIN network schools a network of regional hubs designed to support Wales' brightest six formers in achieving their academic potential. The Serent Network will organise and inspire students about future career aspirations, help to stretch and challenge students with super and extracurricular activities, and it will also help put students in contact with the leading UK universities, providing information, providing hands-on support and advice, and supporting schools and teachers in providing the necessary to ensure they make the next step. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation and for considering us as one of your options. Thank you also for your forbearance and your patience in viewing this video. Our goal is simple, making Cowbridge the first choice for parents through our guiding principles of education, inspiration and opportunities for life which the school aims to embody as its guiding principle. So what's next? Uh, you'll find a number of helpful links on the website, taking you to any videos, brochures, frequently asked questions, information request, information selection, as well as a Sway presentation, which will help you to see this in more uh, interactive format. We hope you've enjoyed the presentation. It has been a little unusual for us. We look forward to welcoming you a life in the sixth form in Cowbridge when you return. We hope that you are able to make the selection that you deem appropriate and necessary. And on behalf of Miss Davis and myself, thank you. Merci beaucoup.